so good morning students am i audible hello good morning sir so So today I hope to start your IT session three, right? So I think up to this point you did, you've uh, engaged to IT two IT sessions, right? So today the third one. So in this session we hope to discuss about uh, word processing software and spreadsheets, right? So. So in here in this session mainly we are focusing on uh. MS Word and MS Excel. So I think most of the you are familiar with Word and Excel, right? So in your uh university uh, career also you need to work with these two softwares to create your assignments, theses. So in your fourth year, second semester, you need to create a uh, you need to uh, you need to do a research. Right, so then you need to create a thesis document with more than fifty or sixty pages. Right, so for that you need to have an idea about what are the options in Word, what are the tools in Word, right, and also an Excel, right, because when you are doing your analysis or so some mathematical uh, works, you need to use Excel, right. So then. Both the softwares are very important to you, all, right? So I think most of the students are familiar with these two softwares. But today we hope to discuss how to use Word. So what are the tools in Word, right? So how to insert references to the document, and and what are the main important things in Word, right? So let me share my screen. If you have any doubt or need any more clar clarification you can uh, raise hand and ask the questions right no issues right. so can you see my screen Yes, sir. So this is the main window of Word, right? So there are so many versions in uh, MS Office, right? So you can, I prefer to download uh, 2016 or a, new, a newer version, right? So because some tools are different in some versions, right? So as an example, if we uh, install 20, uh, 8 or 26 so some tools are differ from the newer versions right so in that case i prefer to install uh, 26 so a newer version from that right so in here so this is the main window there are so many tools uh, you can see right so this is the this is your uh, uh, document sheet right and there are some there are some tabs in your uh, top uh, top layer right and also some options right so we can go one by one right because we have two hours left right so the first one is file right you can see in your uh, right hand side left hand side top corner there is this option called file right so from that if you click this you can have some uh, options again right home new open info right uh save save as save as adobe pdf right there are so many options right so in here the main options are if you click file you can open a new document right so once you click new you can open a new document a new blank document right or else you can open the, you if you click, uh, click open you can open a pre-created document right so as an example so last week if you create a document called uh, 
company right and your your and you save that document in your hard drive so once then from these options you can open this open that document again right so from the new tool you can open a new document from open tool you can open a existing or the pre-created document right so if you click open so you can see so these are the document that i created before right so once you click this you can open that this document right so there is a document called paper i triple e so if you click this you can open this document because these are pre-created document in my laptop right so that is called the open option and from new option you can create a new document blank document so in here from this option you can create a blank document or else you can select a theme right so there are so many themes you can you can see there are so many themes in here right uh, banner calendar invoice service invoice so as an example if we click service invoice then you can see this is the template right then only you, you need to enter the values right or you can change customize this right it doesn't matter but this is a little bit of easy right because no need to create the template right so there are pre-created template in word right so from that you can select the a needed template right or else you can select blank document it doesn't matter right so if you select blank document you can open a blank document right right so you can see so this is the that invoice template right if you if you click invoice template from here this is the invoice template then you can open the invoice template right then you can edit and add details to this right no need to create tables and invoices right so your template is there only need to customize this right so what is the address what is the receipt address right what is the invoice number those things you can add right or else you can open a blank document right so in here i am opening a blank document right Then, so we discuss about new and open. Then the next one is we can save your save our document, right? So once we uh, finish our creating part, we can save our document, right? So if you click save, then you need to select a location on your laptop or on your PC, right? So you can click browse and you can browse uh, any location in your PC or laptop, right? So in here I am saving my document in desktop, right? So I'm creating new folder called student, right? You can click on new folder and create a new folder in desktop. Then you can save this document in it, right? So in here, you can give a name to your document, right? In file name, text box, you can give a name, right? So I'm giving uh, document one. If you have any doubts or issues, you can ask, right? Doesn't matter, right? So my file name is document one and my uh, saved IP is word document, right? Because I am saving as a document file, right? Because I need to open it again in a later, right? So once you finish, select the location and give in the name, you can click save, right? So this is the save button. Then, uh, now we save our document right so then once we go to our desktop right you can see in my desktop there is a folder called student because we created a new folder called student right so we created a new folder called student then we can open it and see our document right so the document name is document one because I gave the name as document one, right? 
So this is how we can save our Word document in our hard drive in our PC, right? So it's very simple, right? So then, so up to this point, we learn about how to open a new document, uh, how to open a pre-created document, and how to save our document, right? And there are some options called print. You can print your document. These things are not, not too much important, right? You can refer, right? But most important things are new, open, and save, right? Because we have limited time period, right? So then the next toolbox is, or the toolbar is home, right? In home, you can see some several tools in here, right? So this is your document area or your paper, right? In your, in this white box is your paper, right? So first of all, you can type anything on it, right? This is your paper now. So I am typing, uh, Sabragamo University of Sri Lanka, right? Then we can add some format into this, right? We can change the color of this font. We can change the font size, right? So first one is from this part or this toolbox, we can change the first. We are learn to change the font face, right? So first you need to select your text, then you can uh, click on this arrow and select the font, right? So there are so many fonts in Word, right? Right. So likewise, you can select the needed font, right? Suitable font. So I am selecting as this Cascadia code semi-bold, right? Then, so, we, so from this, we can change the font face. From this tool, we can change the font size, right? So I am giving as 16, right? So from this, we can change the font face. From this, we can change font size. And you can see in here, there are two options or two tools are there, A and up arrow and down arrow, right? So again, from this also, you can change the font size. From this up arrow, you can increase the font size, right? From this down arrow, you can decrease the font size, right? So from this also, you can change font size, it doesn't matter, but from this also, you can change one by one, right? Point by point, right? So then you can select the suitable font size from this, right? So I'm, uh, so I'm keeping as 80, right? Again, from this tool, B, right? So this is called bold. From this tool, you can bold your font, right? So I change the font. Then you can right. So from bold tool, so B. So it's called bold tool. We can convert our text into a bold text, right? From this tool, you can bold our text text, right? You can see your text will be it will be dark, right? From this, your text will be bold. From this tool, you can give a shape to your text, right? It's called italic, right? You can see your text will be converted into a little bit of shape, right? So this is called the italic tool. From this tool, you can underline your text, right? You can see you can underline your text. So in here you can apply more than one option at a one at a one time, right? So as an example, you can bold, italic, and underline your text. Right now, now three options are applied into this text area, right? Or the text. Right? You bold your text, 
italic your text and align underline also right so this is how we can apply any of any format into a text right then the next option is super uh strike through right from strike through option you can have a line in the middle of your text right you can see if you uh, click on this you can see it is like your st they strike through your text right they apply a line in middle of your text right so the next one is so when we are i i know in here there are some chemistry students right so in chemistry or any uh, mathematical expressions we have x, x x to the power five right so so if you need to write as an example you need to write uh, x to the power six right now what now if you if we increase this font size now what now six need to be superscript right because this is not the way to write x to the power six right you need to superscript this 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 six should be in here right this area now then you can highlight this and you can select on this superscript tool now what now you can see now okay right again i'll show you you need to select the six or any the, the, the number right if it is two now x to the power two you need to highlight this number or the part that need to be superscripted you need to highlight this and select on superscript tool right so same as there are some expression calls as an example we need to write h2o right so we need to write h2o co2 right now this two need to be subscripted right? so if we write co2 now our two need to be subscripted it comes in here right so then again the similar way you can highlight this and select on subscript tool right you can see then your two will be subscripted so this is how we can uh work with superscript and subscript tool right so if you have any issues you can ask right it doesn't matter then the next tool is we can highlight our text right again we can select the needed part and select a needed color right there are so many colors in here you can click on the suitable one right you can select the text and give a color right and the next one is you can change the font color so this is not the font color right this uh, at the previous example we highlight the text right we we do not change the font color right we just highlight the text right from this tool we can change the font color right if we select this and change as red then you can see your font color will be changed it as red right so in here we highlight the text in here we change the font color right so these two different scenarios right then then in the in that next uh, next box you can in your first line you can change the alignment right so if you click click on this so this is called uh, left alignment right so from this you can uh, align your 
paragraph or anything to the left margin, right? So this is the layer left margin. So this is your right margin, right? So from this, you can align your text in uh, text to a left margin, right? From this tool, you can uh, align your text to a center margin, center, right? Center of your document, right? If you click on this, you can see your text will be aligning as a center, right? Then from this, you can align your text to the right margin, right? You can see. Your text will be aligned to the, your right margin, right? So in here, this is aligned to your left margin. In here, this is aligned to the center of the document, right? So this is three different alignments, right, center, and left, right? Okay, yeah. So, so as I mentioned earlier, if you if you install a newer version, if you have, so there is a question from your side. Do we have the auto save option in Word? Right. So yes, there is a option called auto save. So, but that is available in a new, newer versions, right? So if you have a newer version. Uh, after 2016, 2018, right? From that period or, uh, or the updated one, then that will have the auto save option. So in here you can see there is an option called auto save, right? Right. Then you can save your documents to your Google Drive or your mail cloud right i think your family with cloud and google drives right i think you have a uh, previous session on google drives and uh, cloud right so in here you have the op call uh, option called auto save and also if you if you have a power cut and if you, uh, as an example you think you are suddenly you have a power cut and your PC turned off, right? Then once you start your PC and open Word, then there is an option called recover, right? There is an option called recover. Then in that recover box, you can see your previous created document in here, in, in that box, right? Then you can double click, double click and get the document into your main window and save your document again, right? So that, that is called the recover tool. Right, this is called auto save too. Right, if you click on if you enable auto auto save, then automatically your document will be saved in your cloud or your drive. Right, but uh, if you are not enable auto auto save, it doesn't matter. If you have a power cut, if you have if you have a power cut, then you need to use a newer version, right? Latest version in MS Office. Then you have a tool called Recover. Then once you open your Word, Word uh, software again, then you can see a uh, text box or the, your, sorry, text box, no. Your, uh, you can see a window called recover and you can see your pre-created -pre document in that fold, right? You can just double click on it and you can open it and you need to again save it, right? Because that uh, document is not save in your uh, needed drive, right? then you need to save it again, right? So that is two options called recover and auto save, right? I think that student got the answer she needed, right? Right. So the next one is we can create so in here, I'm only uh, discussing the important tools, right? I'm not going to discuss all the tools, right? Because we have only two hours left, right? So there are 
number of tools are they are in word right so we don't have enough time to discuss all the tools right so i am only discussing the important tools in word right so if you can refer you can refer and uh, learn about the remaining tools right so the next one is we can create lists right so there are two types of list list called ordered list and unordered right so ordered list means we can uh, define it as one two three four right a b c d so there is a order right and also we can create unordered list so unordered list means what there is no order right so there is no specific order to that right so then uh, first one is ordered list right so this is the tool numbering right so order list, order list means numbering, right? So you can click this arrow and you can see the options that are available in Word, right? You can uh, create a uh, list as one, two, three, or one bracket likewise. You can see Roman numbers, you can see ABC, you can see you can use simple ABC, you can use simple or Roman numbers. So as an example, if you use simple Roman numbers, huh? so this is your first element in your list. Right, so as an example, if we uh, enter the first element as car, right? So once we enter our first element, then you need to press enter. Then automatically, the word will generate the second number, right? So the second number is fruit. So once you finish the entering the second element, you can again press enter. Right. So likewise, you can define the elements, right? Right. So it will automatically generate the numbers, right? So this is how we can we can create the ordered list, right? So as I as as example, like if we try another format, if we use this a. So first you need to enter the first element, right? Student one, right? So the second one is student B. Right? Student three. Right? Likewise, you can enter the number of elements you need, right? Right. So this is how we can uh, create ordered list, right? So, are there any questions or doubts in up to this point? No, it's Prashna Mahathi and Dogolanta. Me, me, So, I hope most of the students are familiar with Word and, X, Word and Excel and PowerPoint, right? Because if this is not too hard, right? So, are there any doubts or questions up to this point? No, no questions, right? So give me a moment.
right? So, so the next one is unordered list, right? So I'm already put. I have not had the moment here. Who's So the next option is unordered list, right? So in here we create an ordered list, right? Now we are we are uh, try to create an unordered list, right? So there is no order, right? So this is the tool that is called bullets, right? So the previous one is numbering, then uh, this one is bullets, right? Again, you have some parallel options. So if you click this, you can see the first element is there, right? So again, we are entering the first element and press enter, right? So to this list, there is no specific code, right? The previous one has an order, A123, ABC, Roman numbers, right? So in here, there is no specific order, right? So this is called unordered list, right? So this is the tool, bullets. So this is a tool called numbering. We can create a ordered list, right? So these are two options, right? Next. So from insert toolbar, toolbar, right? So, so previous one is home. This one is insert, right? From insert toolbar, you can insert tables to your document, right? You can select the number of rows and number of columns you need, right? So rows means these lines, right? So as an example. So in here, this table is consists with two rows. So this row one, this is row two, right? These are called rows. This one row, this is the second row. This is the row one, this is the row two, right? And also this table is consists with three columns, right? So this is the column one, column two, and column three, right? These are called columns. These are called rows, right? Right? So you can uh, decide the number of columns and number of rows in your table, right? So in here, you can just drag and select the column number and row number. Or else you can click on insert table and define your row number and column number. So if you click I need five columns and five rows, right? Sorry, 10 columns and five rows. So then you need to define this column uh, line as 10 and your row number as five because I need a table with 10 columns and five rows, right? So once you insert the number of columns and number of rows, you can press on, click on OK, right? Then you can see you have a table with 10 columns and five rows, right? So this is how we can enter or insert a table to your document, right? So if you have any doubt or any issue, you can ask, right? In any time, right? Then the next tool is you can insert pictures to your document, right? Right? You can insert pictures, right? So you can click on this and you can press on this device and you can uh, select a picture or image in your hard drive, right? So once you, if you click on screenshot, so I'm inserting uh, screenshot seven, right? If you double press on it, then you can just insert your image to the, your document, right? So this is how we can uh, insert a picture to your document, right? Our document, right? So the next tool is we can add shapes. We can add shapes, right? So as an example, if we select uh, a rectangle, you can select on rectangle and just draw it on your document, right? This is the shape that we inserted uh, inserted to our document. Right, so this is how we can insert a 
shape to our document. So after that, you can change the shape, fill, fill in color, right? And change the outline color, right? And outline width or weight. Right. So likewise, today after that you can customize your shape, right? So once you insert your insert a shape to your document, then you can customize your shape, right? So this is how we can insert the shape to our document. So next one is we can add page numbers to our document, right? That is this, this one is import, very important, right? So remember that. So once you Create, uh, create an assignment or anything, you need to insert page numbers to your document. So that, that is must, right? So, so this is how we can insert page numbers. First, you need to go to format page numbers. Then you need to select a, a format of your number, right? You can add one, two, three Arabic numbers. You can add Roman numbers. You can add ABC. Right. Likewise, there are some several formattings, right? So once you click on one, two, three, now the format is this Arabic one numbers, right? Then you can uh, select the starting point, right? You can start from the previous section, or else you can give a starting number, right? So if you click on start at, you can define the start starting number, right? So in here they are default, they are given one, right? You can give any number right you can give zero or five six then if you give if you give six then your numbering will starting from six right if you give five then your numbering will starting from five right likewise you can give the starting number right so in here i'm giving one then you need to click ok after that again you need to go to page numbers and you need to select the location or position of your number so as a standard, we are giving our page numbers in bottom of our page, right? Then you can select the location in your bottom page, right? So in here, I'm giving the right hand side, right? So then first you need to select bottom of page, then right hand side, right? Then you can see your number will be visible in your bottom of the page and right hand side, right? So this is how we can insert a number so then if you move to your second page you can see number two will be visible in your second page right now the number is num numbering is okay right so this is how we can add page numbers to our document right so are there any questions in that part page numbering or uh, ordered list unordered list No. Then Then the next one is we can change the page size. So this is our page, right? We can zoom in and zoom out from this tool, right? You can see my cursor in right hand side bottom, right? So if you zoom out, so this is your page, right? We have two pages, right? So we can change the size of this page, right? So for that, Up with the numbers up with them, but say, right? Question of the whole ending, right? So, method up with them, number one, can you get them up with the page? You can never get up again up in numbering on a color, then up with document, right? It was a very long look page, you got the under, may press enter, get a good pass, may all look page, get up with the dinner, right? Emanatan up with a blue one, methaning may insert give me blank page, can you feel a card, 
insert blank page. Itu ni pulang api dalu teng pages insert kerana dokumen tegar. Nah tu api dah automatically api dah page jaga ini naya, right? Kula buat yang mata di ni ke palu ni page jadi terai. Ida pas kula kula nama insert di lama blank page select kerana pas se. Orang tengah dewan ini page jadi insert. Nah tu na. Orang tanam pages insert kerana pulu. Eh, kami kerana number saya otak add punya. Mungkin number ini dah lama ni dia ni dah. Awal dokumen tegar. Abi dokumen tegar format nama format insert. Page numbers ke, lapik dah format tegar. Hadalah, api me numbers inon location tegar, thadu dokumen tegar kotana dekik. Ini sah, ite pasti api tak ayi nas keran dekik. Me api ni kang, al ten pages add tegar, kalau orang dokumen tegar, dah ni try dekik. Ya numbers automatically add tegar, me one, two, three, four, five. Api tawar pages add tegar, tiap orang numbers automatically padin, padin. Ada, pasti ada. Right. So the next one is we can change the page size, right? So for that you need to go to layout size, right? So there are several predefined size, right? Uh, letter, tab, uh, tab bold, right? Uh, ledger, legal, executive, A3, A4, eleven seventeen screen, right? So there are. So many predefined sizes are there, right? So then there are so many predefined sizes are there, right? So the standard size is A4, right? Standard paper size is A4, right? In your documents, in your uh, assignments, in your thesis, in your document, the standard size is A4, right? So I prefer to keep it as A4, and the next size is. Next standard size is letter, right? So, but in your documents, in your uh, thesis documents, in your assignments, right? Then all the those things you need to keep it as A4, right? So remember that you need to uh, keep the paper size as A4, right? Then, so this is how we can change the font, uh, paper size, right? You need to go to layout, size, then the you need to select the paper size, right? So there are so many paper sizes, right? So if you need to keep it as A3, you can select A3, right? Then the A3 is bigger than A4, right? If you need to keep it as legal, right? you can keep it as legal, right? Or else, you, if you if you need to uh, search more paper sizes, you can select on more paper sizes, right? Right? Then you can select on any paper size, right? So these are we can. Change the paper size of a document, right? Then next one is orientation, right? So then you can change the orientation of the document, right? So the default orientation is so the default orientation is portrait. You can change the orientation to the landscape as well, right? Can change the uh, orientation to the landscape as well, right? So, the the default one is portrait, right? Most probably, you need to uh, create your documents in portrait mode, right? In a special cases, you need to change it to the landscape, but most at most time, you need to keep your uh, orientation as portrait, right? And Next one is margins, right? You can change the margin, right? So, so if you can remember in in letters or in any document, you will see a, a, a some some blank space from this part, right? From left and right and top and bottom, right? So in any document, if you can remember, you, you will see a blank space from left, right, and top and bottom. In the document, right? So that is called margin of the document, right? So from this tool, you can define a margin to your document, right? So you can select on predefined margins. There, so there are uh, several predefined margins. So as an example, if we select moderate margin, you can see in moderate margin, the top margin is one inch, 
bottom margin is 1 inch left is 0.75 right is 0.75 so this means you are given a blank space from bottom as 1 inch from from top as 1 inch from bottom as 1 inch and from right as 0.75 from left also 0.75 right so it's called the margin moderate margin right or else you can give a custom margin you can define your own margin so as an example if you need to keep it the top margin as 0 0.75 you need to define in here as 0 0.75 right so if you need to give the bottom margin also as 0 0.75 you need to keep it as 0 0.75 Right. So if you need to keep your left margin margin as 0.15, you need so or 1.5, you need you can define as 1.5, right? So in here I am keeping my top margin as 0 0.75, right? Uh, bottom margin as 0 0.75, and the the left margin as 1.5 and right margin as 1, right? So once you uh, finish the defining part, you can press OK, right? So then you can see your left margin is 1.5, right margin is uh, 1, and the top margin is 0.75, and bottom margin also 0.75, right? So these are how we can define the margins to a document, right? So are there any questions from that part? My question would be on the volunteer. No, sir. Okay. No, sir. So then. So the next one is we can uh, add watermark. A document right so for that you need to go to design toolbar design right and you need to go to watermark and you can define a you can uh, select a watermark right there are the defined watermarks are there right you can see confident confidential one confidential two to do not copy one draft right or else you can insert custom watermark right so if you go to custom watermark you can uh, click on you can uh, insert piece a picture watermark or you can insert text text watermark right so i am inserting text watermark right you can go to you can select on text watermark and you can change the text here right so i am giving susl So my watermark is SUSL. So again, I am showing you, you need to go to design, watermark, custom watermark. Then you need to go to text watermark. Then you need to change the text as your needed watermark, right? So I'm giving SUSL, right? Then you need to click OK. You can see your water, watermark will be visible, right? So this is how we can uh, insert watermarks, right? And, uh, and also we can change the page color, right? So the, the default color is white. We can give another color, right? So in here, from this page color tool, we can give a color to our document, right? So I'm giving uh, orange, light orange, right? But the default color is white. If you need to insert a color to your document or background, you can go to insert, uh, design toolbar and you can go to page color and you can select a color, right? So these are, we can change the color of the document, right? And the next one is page border, right? 
So we can insert a page border to our document. Right? So from this toolbar or the tool, you can insert a page border. Right? So the default one is none because we up to this point we doesn't we did not insert any page border to our document, right? So you can select the box a tool called box and you can select the design, right? So there are several designs are there. If you need adjust a line, you can select on line and you can select the width of the line, right? And press OK, right? Then you can see your uh, page border will be inserted to your document, right? You can change the color, right? From this tool. Right. So in here we, we learn about how to insert watermark, how to change the background color of the document, how to insert page border to a document, right? So are there any questions from that part also? All good, right? You can have notes or anything, right? If you have uh, laptop, laptop, so any device, you can try it, right? Otherwise, you can have also anything, right? Doesn't matter. Okay. So I think uh, at this point we discuss some important or some most used using tools in Word, right? Most common tools, right? There are so many tools, right? There are options called references, right? Uh, cover pages, right? Because we don't have enough time, right? Because we need to discuss about Excel also. So then, so are there any questions from up this point? So we we learn up we discuss about some. Uh, several tools in Word, right? Some basic several tools, right? So if you have any issue or doubt, you can ask now. You can uh raise up your question from the chat box also right it doesn't matter you can put the put your doubts into the chat box no questions all good right yes sir okay so give me a moment So yeah, another question. So can we add and design? Yeah, we can add. We can, yeah, we can add as an image, right? Or picture. And right? always we can add as a watermark. Right? So if you need to add, add that uh thing as watermark, right? You can go to watermark and custom watermark. 
and then so the in previous case we select text watermark right so in here you need to add anti counter field then you can click on picture watermark and select your image right so in here you need to manually download it right then after you can insert your anti counter field to the document right so this is not it's so in word there is no option to default to get that right you need to manually download it and insert to the document right you can insert as a picture or as you can insert as a watermark right is it okay So give me a moment. Right. So can you tell me a little bit of more about it? Yeah. So again, so now we have the document, right? Create a document, right? So I need to get a new document, right? So now we have the doc this document. So again, you need to go to file, new, blank document, right? Now we have the our bank blank document, right? So in here I need to add page numbers to this document, right? I think that I need to add the page numbers first, right? So again, you need to go to cut insert, right? Page numbers. First of all, you need to uh, uh, select the format of your page numbers, right? You can go to format page numbers. You can select the format, right? So there are several formats in Word, right? Arabic numbers, Roman numbers, and ABC and simple ABC, right? So I think that I need to uh, insert Roman numbers, right? So in previous case, we insert Arabic numbers. So I need to insert Roman numbers. So I select this, right? Now you can uh, select the starting point, right? Uh, so you can keep it as continuous as previous section. Or else you can uh, define the starting number, right? So in here, I am. There is no sections in this document uh, up to this point. So in in that case, I am giving a starting point, right? So default they are giving uh, the first number as the starting point. Or else we can change the starting point, right? You can see. So I select the Rom uh, Roman numbers. In that case, they are giving the Roman numbers as the starting point numbers, right? So I'm so I'm keeping as one, right? Roman number one. Then we need to sit, click OK. Now we are complete the formatting part, right? Then you need to select the location that you need to insert the numbers to the document, right? You can insert the numbers to the top of the document or bottom of the document, right? So I am uh, selecting bottom of page, right? So I am inserting numbers in the bottom of the document, right? Then you can uh, select the style, right? And the position. You can enter center or left or right, right? And also there are some uh, like uh, styles as well, right? 
So I am giving this style, right? No, uh, this one. Bottom of the page and right margin, right? Then you can see your page number will be automatically in your page, page one, right? So then if you insert another page to the document from insert blank page, then again, you can go to your bottom menu, you can see page two. Right? Likewise, again, you can insert another blank page. Again, you can go to your bottom menu, see page three. Right? So likewise, you can insert the numbers and you can change the formatting as well. Right? So is it okay? Right. So these are things I hope to this, uh, cover up at the word session, right? So then we can start the Excel one, right? So there are so many uh, tools addition to this, right? You can refer and uh, get familiar to that, right? So there are so many tools called references and power pages, right? And drawings, right? So there are so many pages. So many options and tools, right? Breaks, right? Indentations, columns, right? So then we had not enough time to discuss all the things, right? In that case, I'm only discussing most common and most uh, using tools in Word, right? So additional to that, there are so many tools, right? You can refer and uh, see the changes, right? So then we can move to the Excel part, right? So this is also similar to Word, right? Most of the tools, right? Most the, most the options are similar to the Word, right? Addition to that, there are so many tools that you need to Excel, right? Again, you need to click on blank workbook, right? So this is the window of Excel, right? So this is a little bit of different than Word, right? So this is called spreadsheet, right? So this is called spreadsheet. This is the main window of Excel. Again, there are some Toolbars, course, file, form, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, view, automate, help, and acrobat. And some, uh, some of the toolbars are similar to Word, right? File, form, insert, page layout, data, right? But some are unique to Excel, right? So again, if we move to the file toolbar, we can see there is option called new, open, save, right? So we, dis we discuss this toolbar under Word. So it is no need to again discuss about these things, right? From new, we can in, uh, open a new ex, uh, worksheet. From open, we can open a predefined worksheet. From save, we can save our document and we can use it at a later on, right? Then the next tool is file, right? So in here also, so as an example, if we write a, a sample text in here, student number and so think that you need to create a table of the student details right student number student name and city hometown right Another important point is uh, we can change the cell size. So this is your spreadsheet and the single that this box is called as cell, right? So this, the single box is called as cell, right? So this, this spreadsheet is considered several cells, right? So this is called a cell, right? So you can, again, so these are columns and these are rows. We discussed in earlier part, right? We can change the the cell size from this uh, uh, this point, right? You can just uh, go uh, point your mouse point to this point and just drag it, change the font uh, cell size, right? So in here also, 
you can change the height also right you need to just uh, point your mouse point to this point and just drag and change the width and height so from this you can change the width of the cell from this you can change the height of the cell right so the default one is here right then so you have student number student name and hometown right so the first one is similar to word you can change the font face right so these things we discussed in the earlier section right we can change the font size right and we can give a font color right so these things we discussed earlier right i'm not going to discuss again in this part right then we can change the alignment right so then next one is we can fill a color right from this fill color tool right we can add a color to our cells right so if you uh, click on these th three cells then you can go to fill color and give a color to our cells right so as an example if we give it as light orange then you can see your three cells will be updated as light light orange right so the color will be updated right then if we enter sample numbers in here one so our number is one two three four five and we have name called a b t y right and we have hometown hometowns called more to anagura right colombo author goal right so now we have five student numbers five student names and five hometowns right then we can select this part and we can change the alignment right so we have center right and left right so if you select on left you can see all the part will be aligned to your left margin right right so in here the margin is your cell right then again we select this and so if you now we change the color of these three cells right so if you change the color of this data again you need to select this part and you need to go to fill color and select the color right now you can see we had a two colors <clears throat> so we had two colors right now the case is uh, the borders will be not will be visible right right so then again you can select your uh needed part and can go to borders right you can click click on this arrow and you can select the border style right so i am giving all borders right then you can see your border will be visible then will be highlighted than the default one right default take out apda highlight la dinda apda tadda kalu vela thi right so these are we can change the uh, cell color දැන් මෙතන අපිට ටේබල් එකක් දැන් මෙහෙමයි දැන් මෙතන ටේබල් එකක් අපිට ගන්න දෙයක් නැහැ නේද මොකද ටේබල් එක ගන්න දෙයක් නැහැ මේ ඔක්කොම පිටින කොටු නේ තියෙන්නේ මෙතන අපිට ඔක්කොම තියෙන්නේ මේ කොටු තියෙන්නේ මේ තියෙන ඔක්කොම සෙල්ස් තියෙන්නේ නේද මේ ඔක්කොම බාන්න මේ ඔක්කොම සෙල්ස් තියෙන්නේ මේ ඔක්කොම කොටු තියෙන්නේ අපිට කලින් එකේ අපිට ඩොකියුමන්ට් එකක් ගන්න තිබෙ හිස් 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 පිටුවක් තිබෙ නේද ඒතර අපිට හිස් පිටුවක අපිට අපිට ටේබල් එකක් දාගන්න බෑ කොටු ටිකක් නේද දැන් මෙතනදී අපිට අවශ්‍ය වෙන්නේ ආයි ටේබල් එකක් ඉන්සර්ට් කරන්න මේ ඔක්කොම පිට තියෙන මේ ඔක්කොම තියෙන සෙල්ස් නේ තියෙන මේක කොටු කරගෙන සෙල් එකක් තියෙනවා අපි එතකොට අපිට හිතන්න අපිට මෙන්න මෙතන ටේබල් එකක් හදා ගන්න ඕන අපි ගාව තියෙනවා මේ 
මේ කොටු ටික ඔක්කොම තියෙනවා අපිට දැන් ඔයගොල්ලෝ හිතන්නේ අපිට ඕනේ මේ රෝස් 5කයි කොලම්ස් 3කයි ටේබල් එකක් හරිද දැන් රෝ එකක් කියන්නේ මෙන්න මේක රෝ එකක් කියලා කියන්නේ ඒතර අපිට නිකන් තියෙන අපිට මෙතන අපිට ටේබල් එකක් හදා ගන්න ඕන අයි මෙතනින් ලියනවා student number student name home town school ओपन ඒකේ බලන්න පුළුවන් මේ new කියන option එක click කරලා මේ blank workbook එකකට යන්න එච්චරයි. ඒ වර්ක් මේ excel එකේ තියෙන මෙන්න මේ වගේ document එකක් තමයි ආය අපිට අලුතෙන් යන්න දෙයක් නැහැ. blank workbook එකකට තියෙන මෙන්න මේ වගේ එකක්. ආය අපිට මේ table එක දාගන්න දෙයක් නැහැ. අද මේ දැන් මේක දාන්නේ excel ගැන. word නෙමෙයි. excel document එකේ තියෙන මෙන්න මේ වගේ window එකක්. හරිද ප්‍රශ්න? आई एक्सेल आप इटे एक्सेल की ना विंडो के तीन है मैं वाके डॉक्यूमेंट मैं वाके विंडो का तमाम तीन आप इटे आई मैं कोटों टिक वाट आई आप मैं ग्रीड देखो आप इटे आया दागन नॉन है अबे वर्ड देखो आप इटे ऑन है आई वर्ड देखो ना फिर वर्ड इतने ब्लैंक डॉक्यूमेंट का तीन राइट सो इन एक्सेल in excel no need to insert any tables or anything you can just click on a uh, click on a uh, several cells and insert a table right create a table right but in word you need to manually insert a table and insert values right so but in excel no need to insert any tables manually you can just create a table in any any point right so this how we can uh, create tables right so now again you need to select on this end you can click on all borders now we create a sample table in here right then again we can add pictures shapes right we can add tables it doesn't matter but the uh, easiest way is you can just create tables by using a spreadsheet right no need to insert a table manually right but there is option called tables but you can in, uh, add tables by by using a spreadsheet right and we can add graphs uh, we can add text boxes right we can change the size we can change the margins right so but these things we discuss in our word part right so i'm not going to discuss it again and And the next one is we can do some mathematical things by using Excel, right? So that was the important part in Excel, right? So delete this. So think that you have a in uh some mathematical invoice, right? So as an example, you have unit price. Right. Right. So this is called the unit price. So this sample data, right? And this number of unit. So this is called number of units, right? So this is a total, right? So think that we need to get the uh, 
total right for the total we need to multiply the unit price and number of units right ඔයගොල්ලෝ හිතන්න ඕලන්ට ගන්න මේ total කියන එක මේ තියෙන A කියන item එක මේ B මේ C D E F G H right මේ A කියන item එකේ ඔයගොල්ලන්ට ගන්න ඕනේ මේ total කියන එක right स्टार्टिंग whatever the equation you are going to define in you need to start with as start with equal sign right ogolla me equation na define karadi ogolla anivare me equal sign ekin start karanna right then only excel knows now now we are going to define in define in equation right ogolla me excel ekak danaganne ya den wa me equation ekak define karanne yanne kiyala right so i told you you need to multiply this uh unit price from unit yeah, number of units before that i need to give a small explanation so in this spreadsheet you have lots of cells neither apita me excel spreadsheet e cells godak thiyena right but every cell has a unique name right so in next in a, any spreadsheet every cell has a unique name right so as an example if we select this cell as your selected cell you can see the this is the the cell name of this is f7 right right so cell name cell name of this is f7 right because the column name is f and row number is 7 right in here you can see the column name in from this you can see the number right from this box you can see your cell name right so once you click on another cell now this cell name is n9 right and this cell name is j6 right if you select a cell from this part so this cell name is d2 d32 because the row name is d sorry column name is d and row number is 32 so all all together your cell name is d32 right so once you click on this your column name is p and row number is 32 now all together the name is p32 so so likewise you can label your cells right or name your cells right so that was unique that was unique name so in here now we are going to define an equation to get the total so i told about i mentioned earlier you need to start from equal sign equal then you need to deal with cell names right instead of values right so you need to multiply this cell with this one so you need to select this cell and you need to insert multiplication mark so multiplication mark mark is matrix mark right tharu lakun thamai multiplication mark eka then you need to select the next cell right so i told you i need to get the total so i need to multiply 10 by 3 so the the cell name of 10 is i 11 and cell name of cell name of 3 is j 11 so we need to multiply i 11 and j 11 so into start from equal equal i 11 multiply by j 11 so multiplication symbol is asterisk mark right once you complete the defining part defining part you can press enter right then you can see you have got the answer as 30 The answer is correct because you need to multiply ten by three. Ten by three is equal to thirty. So, are there any questions from that part? My question is what the other? What are you asking? Right. Again, let me now go and then see. No matter. May the high key? I am going to tell you. 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 මොකද මේ m කියන කොළම් නේම් එක m row number එක 11. ඒ තුර මේ දෙක නම m 
මෙතන අපි ගත්තොත් මෙතන f කියන කොළොම් නේම් එක 4 තමයි row number එක f 4 හරිද ඒතර ඒ වගේ අපි මෙතන equation එකක් අපි define කරද්දී අපි වටන් ගන්නවනේ equal sign එක අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම ඒතර අපිට ඕනේ මොකක්ද කරන්න අපිට මොකක්ද කරන්න ඕනේ අපිට ඕනේ මෙන්න මේ cell එකයි මෙන්න මේ cell එකයි වැඩි කරන්න ගුණ කරන්න මේ total ගිනේ ගන්න කියලා හිතන්න ඕක අපිට ඒතරයි මොකක්ද කරන්න ඕනේ මෙන්න මේ cell එකේ නම් මොකක්ද i 11 i 11 මේක මොකක්ද j 11 ඒතර අපි මේ i 11 i j 11 වැඩි කරන්න ඕන නේද ඒතර වැඩි කිරීමේ ලකුණ තමයි මෙතන අපි තරු ලකුණ තමයි වැඩි කිරීමේ අපි ලකුණ හරි ඒතර අපි ගන්න ඕනේ equal i 11 කියලා type කරමු අපි menu වලින් select නොකර i 11 ඒකොනට පේනවා අපි ඒ දිවුකම එයා select කරගන්න මේක automatically ඒක අපි කරන්න දෙයක් නැහැ ගුණ කිරීම ගුණ කිරීම මම කො තරු ලකුණ කියලා j 11 එයා i select කරගන්න මේක මොකද්ද කියලා मुका उत्तर उटिंग Get the summation of two numbers, right? Again, you need to go to your needed cell and write equal. Now the cell name is I fifteen and J fifteen. So I fifteen. So summation means plus J fifteen, right? The summation. Can I get to give me? Get to give me. Can I get to give me? Lakun sabi daan noni. Present. Now the answer is thirty seven. So we need to get the summation of thirty-four plus three. So thirty-four plus three means thirty-seven, right? So the answer is correct. So likewise, you can do any mathematical thing, right? So if you subtract from a number from another number, so as an example, we need to subtract three from eleven. अब इतने आडू का अन्न में तूने क्या ना क्या कलाई आडू करना होगा? Right again, we you can uh, start from equal sign equal i six i seventeen minus j seventeen. Press enter. Right. So eleven minus three is eight. Answer is correct. So now we define four formulas. Right. We define four formulas for this. Two for uh, multiplication. This one for summation. This part for subtraction, right? So then, once you change the number of uh, value of this cell, right? So if you change the value of this cell, automatically this number is also updated. So as an example, now in here we define as ten. So as an example, if you change the number as fifteen, you can see your total will all also updated. right because we are dealing with cell names not values right so we create the formula using cell names not values right so then if you change the value automatically your output also will be changed right so as an example if we change this uh, this one as 37 Now the total is also changed as forty because we add these two numbers. Thirty-seven plus three means forty, right? 
So if you change this as 23, now the answer is 20 because 23 minus 3 is 20. Right? Likewise, you can update or change some values and see the output, right? So as uh, is it clear? More question, more than Right. So. So from. So from this point. So you can see in your so your left hand side bottom corner, right? In your document, you can see a sheet one. Right. From this plus option, you can add another sheet to your document, right? Now this sheet two. Likewise, you can add number of sheets, right? Then currently we are working in sheet one, but we can add several sheets to our document, right? Like uh, we add some blank page to our Word document. So likewise, we can add sheets because in Word, we are dealing with uh, page, but in spreadsheets, we are dealing with sheets, right? It's not pages, these sheets, right? But in Word, we are dealing with pages, not sheets, right? So in here, this document is considered with three pages, three sheets, Currently, we are working in sheet part, right? So, is it clear how to add sheets to our document? You can just press on this plus button, right? So, once you add our add sheets to our document, you can rename it. You can give a name to our document sheets, right? So, in here, the default name is sheet one. So, you can right click on it then. You can go to rename. Then you can give a name. So, my sheet. Right. Now we are, now I rename the sheet one. Likewise, you can re give a name to your sheets, right? So if you cl uh, click on sheet two, again right click on it and go to rename. Now you can give a name, company. Likewise, you can give a meaningful name to your sheets, right? Right click, rename, SUSL, right? So likewise, you can give a meaningful name to your sheets, right? So this is how we can add sheets and rename it, right? So are there any questions from that part? All good? All clear, right? So So if you need to increase the size of a cell, one size got over size can we may sell the size of the one pull one may may position again with the very hard gun sell again with the digger method in pull one high tech gun who sir need to go to size in a cell how did they okay it pass say the number of carry taught. Taught the monkey with a multiplication of the home of the grand name. So still we are we are dealing with equation, not formulas, right? So in Excel, we can get the mat we can deal with mathem mathematical things by using formulas and also uh, equations, right? And functions, right? So up to this point, we are not discussing the functions, right? Only we are discussing the equations, right? I method tropical the equations defined like right. I function right. So for the total part, 
in here we get the multiplication by using two columns two cells right so in here we deal with we get the summation of two cells right so in here we deal with subtraction we subtract this uh, this value from this right so as an example think that i need to get the summation or the total of these four values mate gannona me me values adare total ek right so i need to get the total of these four values again i need to uh, write a equation to this right again you can uh, starting from equal sign equal so what is the cell name of this k 11 right now the first one is okay second one is k 12 plus so i need to get total k 12 right so the third one is k 15 plus k 15 now the fourth one is also third one is also okay now the last one is k 17 plus right now i select the all the values right then i need to press enter now the total is what 197 is it okay so this is how we can get the total from using equations right in similar manner we can get the uh, uh, total of the values by using functions right i think we don't have enough time to uh, discuss about functions so in that case i'm only giving some examples from equations and is it okay to get how to get the uh, summation subtraction multiplication divisional from a uh, values in excel yes prashan what you okay no sir So think that if you need if you need to get the uh, the total of these numbers, so that is not practical to write the equation. No, so I think it is better to give some examples about functions also, right? Then you can uh, have a more idea about the uh, equations, right? So as an example. So in here we wrote a equation, right? So think that you have too much numbers to deal with. So then it is not practical to write the equation. So think that I need to get the total of these these numbers, right? So in that case, it is not practical. E equation equals sign this plus this plus, right? So it is not practical, no. Well, in that case. so in this this kind of scenarios we need to use functions right we need the functions so there are so many predefined functions in excel again you need to start from e equal sign so i need to get the summation of this right mata meke ekatu ne gannona menne me menne me eke ekatu mata gannona so i need to get the summation of these numbers right so for that the formula or the function name is sum right for so the function name is sum again you need to start from equal sum then you need to have a bracket open a bracket then select the numbers you can just drag again select the numbers right then automatically he will select the range cell range i j11 to j28 The cell range is J eleven to J twenty eight. Then you can close your bracket and press enter. Then easily you can see the summation will be visible. So this method two. The first method is you can define the equation like in previous case. You can just write J eleven plus J twelve plus J thirteen plus likewise up to J twenty eight. So that was not practical, right? 
practical nahi bolna ek 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 utkar liye nahi practical nahi for that in that case you can use functions so api ekatu ganna api ganna function ekena thamai sum kiyanne su em right so if you need to get total the total ek ganna onna api ganna function ekena mokadda sum tapi average ek ganna onna mona hari tika ga ज्यूस <laughs> formula sorry function right you can use a function the function name is average again you need to start from equal equal average equal average okay, you need to open a bracket then you need to select the cell range from your mouse j11 to j28 then to close your bracket and press enter now the average is 4.16 so easily you can get the easily you can get the average and total right so think that you need to count these numbers how many items are there right so when you me kiyak thiyana metana kiyala baanna okkoma count karanna me cells kiyak thiyana da kiyala then you can use the function call count equal count open the bracket select the cell range close the bracket press enter you have 18 cells in here 18 items All right so think that you need to get the maximum value from this cell you need to get the maximum value from these numbers me numbers ni maximum value mokada ila ganna Again, you can write equal max within bracket cell range close the bracket press enter. Now the maximum number is seven. You can see the maximum number is seven. All are less than seven, right? The maximum is seven. Think that you need to get the minimum value. Adu ma ke gan no ne. Again, equal minimum within bracket open the bracket cell range close the bracket press enter. Now the minimum value is two. Right. This is how we can get the total. So this is how, this is how we can get the total average count maximum and minimum. For the total, you need to use the uh, function called sum. For the average, you need to uh, use the function called average. For the count, you need to use count. For the maximum, you need to call function called max. Max. For the minimum number, you need to use the function. call minimum min right so is it okay are there any questions from that function part so i now i uh, teach how to use equation and functions to calculate the total average count max and min So is it okay? Are there any questions from that part? No, sir. Right. So so the common thing is when uh, whether you are e uh, defining a equation or function. You need to start from equal sign. That was common rule, right? Okay, the common rule is that my okay, equation is a function. A function is defined. Can you understand? I mean, equal sign is not known, right? So in here, you can see we are starting from equal sign. In this also, we are starting from equal sign, right? So that was the common rule, right?
So any doubts or unclear part in Word or Excel? So, are there any questions from the things we discussed in Word or Excel? So, if you have any unfair part or doubt, you can ask, right? You can just unmute your mics and ask, or else you can put your doubts into the chat box, right? It doesn't matter. Then, so think that now we complete the create, creating part, right? Now the uh, we are done with the creating part, right? The sheets, right? Now we need to save our document, right? Then we are going to create the different document sheet, right? Now we need to save our document. Now we need to save our document. So in similar manner, you need to go to file, save. Then you need to select the location. You can browse and select the location. So I am I, I am saving this document in desktop. That folder we created previously to the word. Then we need to give a name. My Excel sheet. I am giving name as my Excel sheet, right? Then I then you need to press save. Right? Then you can close this document and see this saved document in your fold, my Excel sheet. So once you open it, you can see your stuff that you are created in your spreadsheet. Is it okay? So any more questions? So if you have any single unclear part, you can ask, right? I can exp explain it again, right? It doesn't matter. So in so today, I gave some basics in Excel and Word, right? But, but you need to remember those things, right? So that was the foundation, right? If you are familiar with those things, you can easily get the advanced thing in Excel word, right? It doesn't matter. You can take the foundation, you can take the advanced things, you can take the advanced things, place and identify it. Right? So these are the basic things, right? So if you are good in basic things, you can easily uh, Learn the advanced things, right? Right, so think that. So we have an option called open in this, right? So we discuss in Word also. In file toolbar, we have an option called open, right? So from open, so I told you we can open a pre-created document or Excel sheet, right? In Word, we can open a pre-created Word document, right? So in Excel, from open tool, we can open a pre-created spreadsheet or Excel sheet, right? So once you click on open, you, can, you have a pre-created data sheets in, in my laptop, right? So these are the data sheets that I created previously in my laptop, right? Right, so there are several spreadsheets, right? So once you click, uh, click one of the sheets on it, then you can open that particular spreadsheet. So as an example, so if you uh, click on meeting attendance, right? It, so this also, Spreadsheet, right? So, so as an example, if we if we select my thesis data set, right? So once you click on this, you can open that 
particular spreadsheet, right? So again, if you click on open, so if you click on uh, PS two G six. You click on you click on so if you click on marks you can op you can open your previous pre created document right spreadsheet right so this is how we can deal with open option, right? Is it okay? Number a cathor line to carat and so I didn't get the question. So, in which part you're adding a number in here? I didn't get the question. But okay, so if you open a word, right? So, there is a Two sections called header and footer, right? So, so one one have question about header and footer, right? So when you are inserting a page number to a document, it will comes on your footer, right? So this call header, this call header, this call footer, right? So when you are entering a page numbers to a document, we en we enter or we, we insert the page numbers to a footer. Right, default, we are not uh, manually enter that. Right, if you add uh, page numbers to your doc document, automatically it will enter in footer of your document. Right, so no need no need to enter manually. Right, automatically your document, your page numbers will be visible in your footer. Right, so again, if you enter page numbers to your top of your document. It will be inserted into your header, right? Right. So, and also, if you enter a manually something in your header or footer, it will be visible or in all the pages. So, as an example, if you double click on the top of your document, your header and footer will be visible, right? So, as an example, if if we enter my name in header, right? Then, if you double click on the body of your document, you can see your footer in your header, your name will be visible. Right? Then, if you, if you insert another page to your document by using insert blank page, in that page also you can see your name. Right? So in that case, if you enter anything to your header, all the pages will be included there, right? Because the header is common thing to all the pages, right? So in a similar manner, if you enter page numbers to your footer, all the pages will be updated one by one, right? So is it okay? Footer and header case. Thank you.
So are there any questions from Word or Excel? No more questions, right? All clear. So if you don't have any questions, we can wind up session, right? So thank you for joining today's IT session. So hope you have an idea about what the idea about Word and Excel, right? So basic tools you get. You need to refer other option tools and options, right? So in today's session, we will discuss one basic. Uh, tools and tools and options in Word and Excel, right? So, addition to that, there are so many options and functions and tools in Word and Excel, right? So, you need to refer those things to get a more idea about Word and Excel, right? So, thank you for joining today's session. So, have a great uh, week and orientation. Thank you. Thank you, thank sir. You, sir. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.